No, for they are not preachers asking you to give your life to God and thereafter collect offering before boarding your flight. Neither are they students on a rag day ragging you for your spare change before boarding. They are state agbehus. Yes, at the airport in Uyo. I'm bushing you for cash collection. Uyo, Agberu's at the airport. It's no longer news that Uyo, the capital of Akwaibom State, is a fast developing town with beautiful scenery, tarred road, lovely local delicacies, and beautiful people like me. Is that all there is to a state as a journey through the airport tells a sad tale of fraud prone, unchecked, unchallenged, unautomated cash collection reminiscent of Agberu collection at Motor Park? Apart from the fact that the departure hall of the airport was far from being called a hall, at super crowded, small, with passengers, especially in this period of coronavirus, every traveler through that airport is ambushed to pay 1,500 naira cash as you are not pre-informed until you're about boarding. It's called airport tax. According to them, the airport being state-owned, the money is meant to maintain the airport. White one is not against them collecting airport taxes as federal airport authorities in Nigeria collect similar levies of 1,000 naira from every passenger, but it's automated. So what happened to automating the collections like fan by adding it upon uh, ticket purchase so the airline can do the remittance? One would have expected that with a governor who rose to becoming an executive director in a bank, no one would dare collect state revenues as cash directly. Even if they do, definitely not at the airport the gateway to the state. But alas, it's happening as I talk, unchecked, unchallenged, and with threat to the passengers, and even impunity. It couldn't be rocket science to automate the collection, would it? Or if the governor is finding it difficult or so do, he can ask his counterpart in Cross River State, who prides himself as digital governor. I laugh in ethic. Or it might just be an intentional avenue for chop. After all, there must be boys, food for boys. A rough calculation of the cash collected with three operating airlines of Ibom Air, two flights to Lagos and Abuja, Airpiece, two flights to Lagos and Abuja daily, and Dana, one flight each to Lagos and Abuja, would come to an average of one with an average of 120 passengers per flight. And if you multiply that by 1,500 naira, will give you a collection of 1.8 million naira daily and 54 million naira a month of 30 days. And if you're ambitious to so do a further multiplication by 12 months, it comes to 648 million naira per annum, collected in cash, not automated. I must see money. Why would they kill to serve us? Yet the road from Ikodek Bene to Unquad Noimo in Ikon, a local government of the state, despite the abundance of natural palm produce that can supply palm oil to the entire south region of Nigeria, is hell on earth. A pregnant woman can't travel on that road, no matter how strong she is. Unfortunately, that's a sad description of most of the roads, interior roads in the state, despite the abundance of oil funds and airport taxes. Who swear for this country, self? I would therefore advocate that rather than get fixated at the center, it is instructive that each of us should sometimes look towards our various states and challenge our governor to do that which they have sworn to do. As our silence towards their misgovernance has turned most of them to emperor, I hear you saying, I wait to put Agba Jalingo for trouble. Despite Jalingo's travail, let's choose to be the voice of reasoning, consistently pricking the conscience of our leader. For if you do your own, and I do my own, Nigeria will go better. And like Evans Ophili would say, I shall soon return to Edo and Delta.